So today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my solar setup. We've got a 200 watt system here that in theory can produce up to 1600 watts per day. Uh, as you can see I've run the cabling through our attic. The cabling then comes down to a solar controller in the garage which in turn as you can see right now is being charged by the sun. That blinking green light by the way means we have a full charge on the battery. So you can see that the battery itself is located down in the corner of our garage. It's hooked up to a 1000 watt pure sign inverter. The inverter of course has converted the solar into AC house current which in turn can uh, power simultaneously a thousand watts worth of electrical gear with a surge of 2000 watts. Right now you can see for example our tablets being charged it's also rolling, uh, excuse me, controlling our sprinkler system, our uh, appliances here in the garage, all solar. That would include the garage door opener, as you can see. All lawn gear is also being charged up. The water softener is also powered by solar. And then we have a 100 foot cable that I can take into the house and basically use for backup power. So, for example, we've watched the big screen TV off of solar and at the same time powered the DVR and audio system with power left to spare. During the day we also have a second much smaller solar system. This is a 600 watt uh, unit and it is in turn connected to a 30 watt solar panel that we keep outside during the day. At night we bring this into our back room and it powers this cell phone which of course we're using to make the video. It also powers some lighting, a iPod, and it also powers the back room HD TV. I set the system up so if I want to add one more 100 watt solar panel we'll be set because we've already got the 30 amp fuse supply which is what uh, another 100 watts would require and yes we did not forget about grounding our solar system should there be any uh, lightning storms here in Jacksonville which uh, does happen from time to time so if we have a power outage we will be set it can't quite run uh, a refrigerator or air conditioner I did not get an inverter that really can handle that kind of charge but for fans for TVs uh, and for the making of this video, we are solar good to go. This video, by the way, was edited on this Windows RT tablet. And you may be saying to yourself, yes, it uh, actually looks like a laptop, uh, which it does, as you can see. But, of course, you can go ahead and just detach it, which is kind of hard to do when I'm also trying to run a camera at the same time. But I can just go ahead. And now, of course, it's in tablet mode. And unlike, say, a uh, Android or a iPad, of course, you could multitask on this. And, of course, you can also do remote desktop to another PC. So there's never a question as to whether I'm going to actually have enough processing power on a tablet. As you can see, you've got the traditional Windows desktop right here in addition to a touch-friendly interface right here. So that kind of concludes our tour of uh, the solar project, which was a fun project to do this summer. Thanks for watching.